Hi everyone, Mike here from Watch It Paint It. I recently went out and bought this terrain set. And when I got home, to my surprise, my wife had bought me the exact same terrain set. So her response was, well, I guess we'll have to bring one of them back. And I replied, no, 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 this is fine. So if you're painting a lot of terrain, you want to paint it quickly. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I used Army Painter Speed Paint Medium and Paints to make this process go very quickly. I'm starting off by priming all the terrain with two colors. I'm spraying the underside with Skeleton Bone from Army Painter, and then I'm going to spray the top with Corax White from Games Workshop. You could use a pure white primer, but I like this slightly gray tinge of Corax White. I'm attaching all the terrain pieces to a long stick using two-sided tape. I typically use white tack for miniatures, but where these pieces have flat bottoms, two-sided tape will work better. Otherwise, the white tack is going to squish up and cover part of the terrain. And it's currently winter here in Canada, so if you're priming outside, you're probably going to be priming in the snow at some point. I wonder what my neighbors think when they see me outside doing stuff like this. As you can see here, I have a grayish white on top and what looks like some dirt or dust stains on the underside, thanks to the skeleton bone. Now I'm going to put on a few splashes of color, starting with a silver metallic. Whenever I use metallic paints, I like to mix them with either a contrast paint or a speed paint. This makes them go on a little smoother and I can get away with only doing one coat. This time I'll be mixing Army Painter's Gun Metal with black speed paint. I'm going to use this on all the nooks that are on the pipes and some broken cables and a few other random places. Now I'd say that this terrain is already good enough for a wash and then a varnish, but I want to add two more accent colors before I do that. The next color I'm going to use is corn red, and just like I did with metallic paint, I'm going to mix in a dark red speed paint or contrast paint to make this go on a little smoother. Some options that would look good with corn red are slaughter red and blood red from Army Painter, or Sigvald burgundy from Games Workshop. By using these colors to thin down the corn red, along with a small amount of water, we should be able to get away with just one coat of paint over the primer. There are some large areas to cover, however, and you may need to do a small touch up here and there. So this is how the terrain is looking with the two accent colors added, and I'm now going to add one final color. This one is going to be a mix of Teeny Tin from Vallejo and the new Hoplite Gold Speed Paint from Army Painter. The Gold Speed Paint bottle doesn't normally look like this. This is one of their prototype paints, but it's identical to the new Speed Paint 2.0. Just like before, I'm going to add a single smooth coat of this onto a few select places. The added Speed Paint is making this thick metallic paint much easier to apply. And you might be wondering why I don't just use a pure contrast paint or speed paint instead of mixing the paints together, and it's because I'm going over large flat surfaces. Normal acrylics require multiple thin layers, and contrast style paints can look splotchy on big flat surfaces, unless you use an airbrush. But if you mix the two types of paints together, you can get the best of both worlds. That's all the base colors on, and now I want to do a custom wash over everything. Before I do that, I'm going to spray all of the terrain with a gloss varnish. You don't need an airbrush for this, a rattle can gloss varnish will work perfectly fine. I wasn't sure what color I wanted to use for the wash, so I played around with a few different colors. And then I narrowed it down to two different shades that I liked the best. Garagak Sewer Contrast Paint and Strong Tone Quick Shade from Army Painter. I'm going to be mixing both of these with equal parts paint and Army Painter Speed Paint Medium. I wanted to make a wash that wouldn't cause too much staining, but would also complement all the colors that were already on there. The gloss varnish and the Speed Paint Medium are going to help these washes settle into the recesses. The first color I'm going to start with is the Army Painter Strong Tone. As you can see, I'm just slathering this all over the terrain. It doesn't matter how much you use as long as you get full coverage. What you don't want to do is cover too much of the terrain at once, because this stuff will start to dry and get sticky, and then it's going to be hard to work with. Once I've covered a section of the terrain, I'm then going to take an old rag and gently wipe away the paint to clean off the excess. And this wash is doing exactly what I wanted it to do, but I've already mixed up the Garagak sewer, so I'm going to try that one as well, just to see what it looks like. 
And here is the Garagak sewer going on, and already I'm not liking it. The color is fine, but it's clearly got way too much staining power, and that makes sense, it is a contrast paint and not necessarily intended to be a wash. But lesson learned, and I'll cover the rest of the train with the Army Painter Strong Tone. Now I won't force you to watch me do all the rest of the terrain, but I will take this opportunity to thank all of our patrons on Patreon. Ben and I are greatly appreciative of all the support you've given us over the years. Okay, one last tip for painting your terrain in this way. You're going to have a lot of pooling on the underside. Use a damp brush and just wick away the areas where you see a lot of excess paint pooling up. Now that everything is dried, the terrain looks really good, but it is going to undergo a lot of handling, so the last thing you should do is spray everything with your favorite matte varnish. And that's it for this video, I hope you found it useful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below, and thanks for watching.